when the biggest predators of the African and Asian savanna pick out a tasty pint-sized meal to snack on, they don't always go straight in for the kill. Sometimes these big cats play with their food first, taunting their terrified dinner for hours before finally putting them out of their misery. So why delay the inevitable? Are big cats fighting some inner battle of predator instinct versus maternal empathy? Or are they just nature's jerks? We've all heard the term game of cat and mouse. It's named after how rather than killing and eating a mouse on the spot, cats love to parade their half-conscious trophy around the house, occasionally letting it go before swatting it into submission again. It's almost like cats enjoy giving mice these tiny glimmers of hope and then destroying them for their own sick pleasure. Now, we all know cats are jerks. That one's a given. <laughs> but are they being cruel for fun? Or is there more to the story? Oh my. Well, when it comes to your homicidal house cat, they're not playing with the poor defenseless mouse for entertainment. They're actually trying to tire and confuse their prey to the point that killing it won't cause them any injury. Sure, they could jump in with a quick bite and snap poor Stuart Little's neck in one quick blow, but that takes effort and cats aren't about that life. So good news, Fluffy isn't a sadist. You don't need to change the locks just yet. But what about Fluffy's bigger, scarier, toothier cousins, the big cats? When they play with their food, are they just trying to tire their dinner out, or is it something different altogether? Getting a meal delivered in South Africa isn't always easy. It's not like lions can just call in Uber Eats when they want a steak, medium rare. So when a baby calf got separated from its mother and wandered obliviously through a field, this hungry lion could hardly believe its luck. Despite the half-speed chase, it's pretty obvious that the lion could catch his dinner at any point. He just seems to be enjoying the thrill of the chase. Finally, stopped and cornered, this timid little calf does his best to fend off his would-be attacker by throwing a couple of well-placed headbutts, but the lion is unfazed. What happens next confuses onlookers and animal behaviorists alike, as the lion begins gently pawing at the calf, almost affectionately, the same way a mother would paw at her cubs. He seems less interested about eating and more about making a new friend, at least at first. But just as unpredictable as life on the African plains can be, along comes another lion, eager to share in the afternoon snack. Nothing makes you finish your food faster than someone trying to steal it. Okay, so maybe this big cat was just playing with his food. What about other wild cats? When a leopard picked up a baby impala in its mouth and takes it away from the herd, you'd think it was lights off and game over for the poor African antelope. The leopard stood guard over his new friend, occasionally swatting him with sharp claws and giving chase whenever he made a break for it. The rough play definitely started to take its toll with cuts and gashes appearing along the impala's leg, but it was clear that Stockholm syndrome had set in. Even the impala's concerned parents tried to intervene, but deep down, they knew they couldn't help their doomed firstborn. See ya, son! Good luck! Eventually, playtime was over, and the leopard wanted to find a nice secluded spot to end the poor impala's suffering before taking it up a tree to eat. Okay, so lions and leopards like to play with their dinner. How about cheetahs? Yep, turns out the world's fastest land mammal also torment baby animals before turning them into a festive meal. Maybe it's all the extra time they have left over from being so early to everything. Talk about fast food. Do you think big cats are cruel? Calculated? Or they just don't care? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, so what about the times the baby animals don't end up on the menu? Wildebeest give birth to calves in a super small window, meaning for a few weeks the plains are littered with defenseless babies. It's during this window that South Africa's big cats go on a feeding frenzy, picking off easy snacks that straggle behind the herd. So when a lioness charged at a new wildebeest mother and her minutes-old calf, the mother had to quickly decide between her life and the life of her calf. After a little hesitation, she did what every responsible parent would do and ran like hell. This is where things got interesting. Instead of acting terrified like prey normally does, this calf began fawning on who it assumed was its mother, the confused and hesitant lioness. Instead of going in for the kill, the lioness did something very strange. She began to nurture the young calf. The wildebeest calf had imprinted on the young lioness, 
subconsciously switching the killer instinct to that of a maternal one. Although super rare, scientists believe it can and does happen, but it depends on a few factors. Like in this incredible footage of a leopard who had just completed a successful kill, dragging a lifeless baboon up into his tree for later. It turns out though, this leopard's Happy Meal came with a toy, a baby baboon who had been in his mother's pouch the whole time. Normally when this happens, most big cats would be like, great, I got some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch, but not this leopard. Despite having just savagely murdered a monkey, when the leopard spotted the day-old infant clinging to the tree, curiosity and playfulness took over. Just when you thought this baby baboon was going to be an entree, the leopard seemingly adopted the orphaned primate. So why do big cats sometimes go straight for the kill, other times they seem to taunt and torment their prey before eventually eating it? And then you have the extremely rare occasion where an orphan animal is pseudo-adopted by the parent's homicidal murderer? The last option would make family dinners rather awkward. What's for dinner, mom? Your uncle, now eat up! Well, it turns out that scientists have been studying this phenomenon for some time now, and they've found out some pretty amazing things. For starters, it really depends on the age of the predator. An older, more experienced big cat is more likely to not waste time, killing its prey quickly and efficiently. This, of course, allows you to have more time for naps. The younger the predator, the more likely they are to play with their food before chowing down. It's curiosity mixed with a little hunting inexperience especially if the animal is unsteady on its feet or injured. Most hunters love a challenge, and this play can be encouragement to run or try to get away. But even older cats can also put away their killer instinct if the conditions are right. Most of the time, this is when their prey doesn't act normally. The normal behavior of a mammal who is about to be eaten is to run like the wind, screaming for your life while a savage tiger chases you down. The second you stop running, face your attacker head on and begin licking them affectionately can be the difference between life and death. Acting this way can be quite confusing for a predator. Why aren't they scared of me? Do you know who I am? Maybe it's the fear that makes small animals delicious. Who knows? But there's one even darker theory that makes the big cats of this world just that little bit meaner. Researchers believe that sometimes when big cats don't immediately kill their prey, they could actually be setting up something much bigger. A leopard catches a baby baboon, and instead of killing it, takes it back to his tree for the ultimate trap. Crying out in despair, the baby baboon hopes to alert his frantic parents so they can stage a rescue. This is exactly what the leopard is hoping for. Yes, that's right. The leopard is using the baby baboon as bait hoping to catch some even bigger monkeys instead. That's so cold, man. So if you learnt anything today, please remember that the best way to survive a big cat attack in Africa is to stop running, face the charging lioness, lick her on the face, and call her mommy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and tap that big red button and notification bell. See you next time!